do you know how Google makes money through GPay or maybe phone pay or any other free UPA payment apps they're doing a lot of transaction now when I transfer money to my friend it's free of cost but how they make money they have to develop a lot of money for designing the application developing application for hosting maintaining how are they making revenue how are they generating money out of these applications let me tell you how my name is Rameshwar Amancha founder of blockchain expert club I'm also referred as a Ram Amacha, a certified blockchain solution architect. So in this video, how these UPA payment apps makes money or maybe the companies makes money. The first source of revenue for them is through commissions. Um, let's say when you're making a electricity payment or a gas payment or maybe DTH payment, broadband payment. Initially, G pays just to transfer the money. But now if you see Google Pay or Phone Pay, they do much more than just making the transfers. They'll ask you to make payments for these bills and for every bill you make a payment, you get, they get a commission. And also, they're gonna get revenue from promotions. Now, now Google Pay, they'll give you some free coupon codes or let's say now 20% lay off on Redbus, any other coupon. So that they'll make a customer engage. They're, they're taking customers from Google Pay to their uh, third-party businesses. So they're there's one source of revenue and also through ad revenue because based on the number of transactions uh, your data might be shared uh, not uh, completely but they will probably say uh, they'll apply some machine learning and uh, they give the data to these companies to promote their products and services and also through uh, prepaid recharges you now every time you make a payment like very similar to the uh, the vendors on a uh, local vendor like maybe a shop every time you do a transaction you do a recharge with them they take some cut similar to that one these upa payment apps will also get a commission and also if you look at the uh, promotions wise cost for acquiring a customer is quite high for mobile apps initially we all referred all our friends now maybe for 51 rupees or 251 rupees we asked we we, we sent that invite to everybody if Google has to do it, they have to spend anywhere between 50 to 750 rupees to acquire a customer. But uh, the referral system, we gave customers to Google for free. Now, of course, we got some monetary, uh, we got some revenue, like no referral value, like 50 rupees to 250 rupees. Uh, if you compare the actual customer acquisition cost and how much they are giving to us, they are saving at least 50 percent of the cost to referrals. So this is how they are uh, saving money, gaining uh, data. So now data is mined. So number of transactions they do, uh, number of customer they have, they can go to new merchant and they earn more than with possible higher revenues. So this is how uh, the most of the existing uh, GPay or phone pay or similar UPay payment apps or businesses makes money. I hope now you have a clarity why such apps are being developed and since the uh, revenue is so high there will be more and more apps coming in the future as well and can this be stopped by blockchain yes definitely once uh, blockchain is completely implemented once blockchain is fully implemented into banks these third party providers will no longer do transactions i can transfer money directly from my account to the merchant account without depending on the providers like google or the banks so that's uh, the future of blockchain and if you wanted to know more about blockchain do join my upcoming webinar where i'll tell you how to learn blockchain and how to get a job in blockchain space so the link is below just click on the link and register for my upcoming webinar and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe so that you can learn more about technology thank you so much for watching have a great day bye